My life is in your hands. My life is in your hands. You took control when I was young, when I was not able. My life is in your hands. My life is in your hands. You took control when I was young, when I was not able. Hi, welcome to Inspired Blessings with Jimmy Prince. I want to thank you for joining us today. And today my guest is Mauricia Duarte. And I'm going to call you Mo because Please. that'll make it easier and yes. people know you by that name. And you came all the way from Slotesburg, New York, in Rockland County. And how long of a drive was that? One hour and 45 minutes. Well, thank you so much for taking that trip. It was a blessing. Good. Did you see a lot of changing uh, color of the leaves? Uh, I saw a lot of traffic. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you must be coming to New York. <laughs> yeah. Now, you're also a uh, fiscal assistant physical therapist? Physical therapist assistant. Uh -huh. Okay. And um, how do you like your job? Uh, I loved it for 20 years. Um, long time. Uh, being with the people, mostly bringing them tender, loving care. Right. right. Uh, and I think it might be time for a change. Okay. You never know. It feels like that. Okay. Um, now, you have a testimony that you'd like to share of, uh, I guess, um, pretty much how God had helped you to, to get well because you weren't feeling, you know, good at the age what age? Uh, I started feeling bad at the age of 12. Wow. That's very early. Yeah. Why is uh, that? I, I th a lot of it had to do uh, with secondhand smoke. Okay. Um, and uh, back then we were living on uh, Rice Krispies and pasteurized, homogenized milk. Okay. Um, I meant to say puffed rice cereal. <laughs> 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 um, and uh, white sugar, and and white uh, white rice. And it's amazing today. You can go into a grocery store. And how many, how much stuff that's on, sold on the shelves are so bad for you? Oh yeah, it's you know? astonishing. Yeah, the the ingredients that they use are really just synthetic stuff that's actually killing our system because our body doesn't know what it is. Right. Right. And and it uh, it's overpowered by these uh, toxic chemicals, and that's why we have such disease rates in the United States. Absolutely. Yeah, I, I think what it is is that they know how to pay for, um, you know, good advertisement. To make it look like it's good for you and that oh, it's, yeah. you know, it's fun and, you know, I mean, so, so a, a child sees these commercials with these cereal commercials and things like that and it just seems like it'd be fun to eat. Exactly. And, mm -hmm. and the parents, uh, they go right along with it. Uh, you, you almost can't blame them because who knew, you know, yeah. who knew? Uh, right. And for some reason, uh, I was blessed to uh, discover the truth mm -hmm. uh, after many years right. uh, of suffering. Right. Um, God carried me through those years. And so what kind of um, symptoms were you having? Uh, it started, at the age of 12, it started off with fatigue. Mm -hmm. um, and then it was just fatigue and, and uh, foggy brain mm -hmm. up until, um, oh my goodness, uh, later on I experienced uh, extreme weight gain mm -hmm. and then uh, extreme weight loss mm -hmm. uh, and um, more fatigue. Then there was depression. Uh, there were a couple of hallucinations, which wow. it was really disconcerting. Now, w did you also, were you on medication? Uh, yes. I tried uh, some antidepressants and, and whatever the doctors were, were prescribing. Mm -hmm. um, and the best thing they had to, to deal with my condition only worked for 15 minutes. Uh, and it, had, it left me feeling worse than when I started taking that particular mm -hmm. drug. Now, uh, how it was, was expensive as well. Right. How was your parents in the fact that um, were they realizing that you there was something wrong? Uh, no, I skirted underneath the radar for a lot of years. Mm -hmm. I skirted underneath the radar until I was about 26 or 27, um, and I got a look at myself in the mirror, mm -hmm. and I said, "Oh my goodness, that's bad. Mm -hmm. um, something has to be done." I mean, what were your doctors saying? You're going for these checkups, you know, when you're young, you go for checkups almost every year, you're in school and you get... Still skirted underneath the system. Uh, it, uh, I found my, I wasn't, uh, I wasn't as uh, active athletically as, as nowhere near as, as the other kids, uh, but nobody was really paying attention. 
-hmm. It wasn't until I became cognizant enough by the grace of God right. to be able to say something's got to be done. This is going the wrong way. Right. Right. Um, right. And then mm -hmm. at 26. I mean, how were your grades in school? Uh, they were okay. I, I don't want to say mediocre, but they weren't stellar mm -hmm. until I started getting healthy. And that wasn't until the, uh, the third time I tried school I was at the age of 30 when I went to NYU for my current degree. Um, and that, that, that w at the age of 30 was when uh, uh, I hit the, the health uh, regimen Mm -hmm. uh, w uh, with full strength. Right. Okay, you went from 12 to 30, but I'd like to speak about in between. Now, let's say, for instance, um, what about your faith? You know, when you're growing up. At about uh, at about the same age, 26, 27. Growing up, there there was just uh, the uh, I was being carried. Uh, when I look back at my younger years, uh, I had I was given. He gave me this platform on which I, uh, I rode almost subconsciously. Um, I, I, was always, I was a happy kid. Mm -hmm. uh, I wasn't afraid. Um, even though the things were around me weren't great, mm -hmm. I was still uh, not afraid. Uh, I was still a happy kid. Uh, I felt uh, a good foundation, which is... Uh, All right. Did you go to church? No, no, no. There, there was none of that. There was, there was, no was just okay. uh, not, not, a, uh, not, not a, an obvious faith. But there was there, there was something inside me that mm -hmm. was carrying me through all of this, mm -hmm. uh, and it wasn't until 26 or 27 about where I cried out and I said, "Please help me." Mm -hmm. um, so who I you, don't know who, what to do. who were you crying out to? You think, like when you were like crying God. out? God. Okay. Uh huh. Why? The, right, that, and that was that was just the beginning of uh, what he has built. Mm hmm Right. What has yeah, right? It's so, it's hard to explain. Okay, so you're crying out, and what happens? Uh, what happens was uh, more answers, mm -hmm. more ways. In what way? What way? Um, in, uh, in, in all ways, finances uh, and health, uh, mostly health, uh, you know, where to go for a job, uh, where to research uh, 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 things to eat, supplements to take. So you feel that there was uh, a guide, uh, oh, definitely, uh, you definitely. know, like like God was guiding you in yeah. a direction. Uh -huh. uh, every every time I hit a wall, without any idea of what to do next, I would cry out. There would be a a long or short period of uh, quiet, and then uh, and then the uh, some answers would come. All right. Now, when we're talking about God, what God are you talking about? The God of the Bible. Okay. Uh, the Christian God. Okay, Jesus Christ. Uh, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Right, 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 right. Um, no, I, I think these days you kind of have to ask what God, yeah, yeah, there's yeah, so yeah, many yeah. different gods, yeah. you know. Yeah. But as we know that there's a lot of false gods, and we know that there's one, one real God. What? Right. right. And, and we want to we elucidate. Right, right. So now, where are you now, the path that God's leading you on to, to make a change in your, in your health? Uh, right now? No, 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 no. So give me the process of, of how you got to this point. Okay, so um, I, started, I started the research uh, early, um, and, and that primary research, it's, it's funny how this thing evolved from uh, mediocre information to superior stellar information. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, I lost a bunch of weight. I was feeling fantastic. Uh, went, went to college, mm -hmm. uh, studied to be a, a physical therapist assistant, and it was just amazing. I was, I was, I got a scholarship. Um, I was on the dean's list all the semesters I was in school. Just amazing from you know the foggy-headed uh, kid uh, who really had no oomph. Okay, so so give me um, what you actually did to to make you know to get to that point. Like, what were the changes? Like, it's what foods that were you know? And, and we're going to say disclaimer because you're not a nutritionist. No, not okay. a nutritionist. I'm but, not a doctor. Right, but it's what you felt has helped you that you want to share with others. Right, this is, this is my road, um, mm -hmm. and, and hopefully it will open up others' minds mm -hmm. uh, to seek similar information. Um, it, started, uh, it started with uh, some really good supplements, some decent supplements, uh, and then it evolved into uh, no sugar, no flour, 
no uh, regular pasta, mm -hmm. um, no sugar and flour, regular, regular pasta. Uh, and then it, it evolved into organic foods, and then it went into uh, what I'm calling beyond organic foods now. Um, things like uh, herbal supplements, uh, mm -hmm. mainly from South America, mm -hmm. uh, over-the-counter, um, some organic uh, raw oils uh, in, in blended form. Uh, and uh, I've done so much research on probiotics, I found uh, two companies finally, after years of research, that are doing uh, unbelievable things with probiotics. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's, this is, we're talking about years of uh, I mean, research. you hear more about pro probiotics these days, and that's really supposed to help your gut, right, to work properly. Right, uh, and th that's a that's an umbrella statement uh, because the the friendly bacteria work throughout the body. Mm -hmm. They help uh, keep the gut clean. Mm -hmm. uh, they help it keep it. They, they help to keep it healthy. They help with nutrient transport, uh, enzymatic processes, including digestion. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. I mean, I'm into uh, health and wellness myself. Um, I guess probably back in, since 2004 and knew you know, that our body needs supplements because a lot of times we are nutrient deficient, you right. know, especially right. with the things that we eat. And, uh, and honestly, we're supposed to have 25 to 35 milligrams of fiber a day in our diet. We don't. So I myself will take flaxseed that I mill, you know. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, yeah. I, absolutely. And, and after a meal, and I can eat some meals, um, <laughs> I, I then I literally I just take it and I just put it in my mouth dry, but I wash it down with whatever, you know, fl fluid that I, that I have. And um, so this way, I tend to like to do it after the meal so it seeps in, okay, and it kind of has that pushing action as well as absorbing the toxins that aren't good for your, you know, your system. Right. Uh, yeah. Flaxseeds offering um, some Omegas. beneficial oils. Yeah. Uh, and um, the roughage that you were talking about, the right. fiber. Right. And there's some other stuff in there, but yeah, off yeah. the top of my head, I can't. Right, but I mean, I've been doing that for a long time, and sometimes I get my girlfriends, and they'll be like, what are you doing? You know, how could you take that? Anyway, so it's funny, because some of them now do it themselves now. You know? Yeah, you have to. And, and it's an incredible reminder. I, I went through <coughs> a huge period with the, with the flax and the chia blends amazing for the body, uh, and now I want to get back to that, especially after you just said that. All right. Now, there's also supplements out there that... Uh, literally do nothing to your system that doesn't even, di uh, I hate to say, digest, that it doesn't dissolve. Like, I've heard where chiropractors have done um, exams, you know, x-rays, and they find supplements in, in the system right. because they, it just they, didn't dissolve. Right, they undigestible. Mm -hmm. Right, right. So you and really even, even the American, American Medical Association in one of their uh, magazines wrote the very same thing, mm -hmm. that uh, most of these are not even being digested. Right. Uh, some guys call it, you, you get expensive urine because it just gets uh, right. excreted right away. Um, there's this doctor that actually did a, a study, Dr. Ray Strand, and he did a study on, um, I'm trying to think, it's his, it, I think it was in his book, and, and in which um, he took nine prenatal vitamins, very important for mothers who are, you know, going to be having the children to get the right nutrients, and he did nine, took nine vitamins, and out of the nine, only three of them dissolved. That's so bad. it's playing like Russian, you know, Russian roulette, you know, in, in the fact that... And that, that stuff's um, not cheap. Yeah, right, right. So, so it's very important. I mean, you, you think about it. When God created us, okay, we came from the dust of the ground, you know, from the dirt of the ground. So, you know, so that's a, the minerals. We need the minerals because that's what we consist of. Am, am I right? Oh, absolutely. In, uh, in, in the book of Genesis, it, it talks about him creating... Uh, all the food that we would need. We were originally designed to be vegetarians. Right. And Even the animals. Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. They were uh, helpers for us, not uh, meals mm -hmm. um, that changed. Right. Um, but right, uh, he created everything that we needed to survive forever mm -hmm. un until the fall. So right, right all, all those lovely trees bearing this gorgeous fruit. Right. And even later on in the in the Bible, it talks about... Uh, Re Revelations. It, it, what, after we die, you mean? Right. That, that the, we'll have the fruit again. Right. The, trees, uh, the leaf the will be work. for uh, medicine and, mm -hmm. and the fruit for mm -hmm. food. Yeah, in heaven, everything's perfect. That's where, that's the way our, our earth was originally designed, that it was supposed to be perfect until the fall of man, until sin entered into the world. And then everything started dying. Yep. You know? Um, but it's, it's uh, important. I mean, I haven't had anybody really come on as a guest talking about uh, the need for nutrients and things like that. 
but you know so I just thought based on your testimony it's your personal story we're not again we're not experts in this field but all I know is that I feel great thank you God <laughs> you know but uh, and if I may say you look good thank you <laughs> you look healthy and I'm gonna have my uh, I don't know if, yeah I uh, probably could say it by now but um, yeah I have a grandchild and, and, and <laughs> on the way, but yeah. Nice. Yeah. I have two grandchildren. Oh, congratulations. Oh, good. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, believe me, as a grandparent, you want to be able to move around to play with your grandchild. Yes, they Cause, need us. Because they off yeah, they have a lot of energy. Uh -huh. And they like grandparents to be able to play with them. So yeah. you definitely yeah. want to be able to walk around and, and run and, and stuff like that. All right, so give me more of uh, the other things that you did. Okay, so um, it, it's right, the, uh, the unraveling of the information took a while. Um, in 19, uh, 2001, I finally hit um, an ultimate low mm -hmm. uh, because uh, what was coming in wasn't, uh, wasn't good. So what was coming out was uh, not a good product. Mm -hmm. for, uh, the intake, and I was eating uh, mostly organic, mm -hmm. uh, and it still wasn't enough. Uh, yeah. And why, why is organic important versus getting non-organic? Uh, right, and, and I want to I want to lead you further into okay. beyond organic because or, or the organic laws, if followed, a lot of guys are not following. But if they're followed, you get a, a good, clean product. But um, uh, there's still the uh, the organic laws allow for people to use fifty percent of the chemicals that they're using to spray on the on the organic uh, produce are still carcinogenic. Oh, because I'm buying organic fruit thinking the fact that, okay, it's not being sprayed, so it's not getting absorbed into the water, into the soil, going up into the actual seed. It's a, it's a little mm. bit of a Russian roulette. Um, uh, most organic is, uh, is non-GMO, which is a step in the right mm -hmm, direction. Mm -hmm. They have the filtered waters. They have regulations watching the, uh, the stuff that's sprayed on there. But 50% of the stuff that they're allowing to spray on organics is still carcinogenic. Mm -hmm. That's why I just recently elevated it to uh, beyond organic uh, and uh, some bio, uh, modified biodynamic techniques right. um, where you're not using any, you're not spraying anything on there except uh, some fermented uh, compost teas, for example, uh, some other fermented things, uh, and it's got to be as clean as possible mm -hmm. um, to further, uh, to, to make the food supply even cleaner than it, than it has been. Yeah, I mean... I, I and, and more nutritious. I could be annoying to my daughter sometimes because, you know, uh, when I see my grandson getting vaccines, I kind of hesitate on the vaccines also because I, I sometimes I don't think, you know, the truth is really being told, you know, in, in certain ways. You know, things that I used to believe in the past, I now kind of question. Right, and, and you also have to be careful. Uh, I agree with the vaccine thing, but for work, I've had to get a flu shot every year, which I'm not happy about, mm -hmm. but I have to do it or else I'm not working. Um, and you also have to be careful uh, because if you're not getting the, vac the, vac the vaccine, uh, you, you want to uh, make sure that kids' uh, nutritional intake is, uh, is stellar, superior, really powerful. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's where I Right, know, so, they can, so they, can fight, they can fight the virus or bacteria on their own. Yeah, yeah. Because I've, I've, uh, in my own life, uh, my goodness, I have stories to tell about uh, dealing with severe pain completely naturally, uh, mouth health, uh, eye health, uh, and nasal health, mm -hmm. um, right, uh, dealing with these completely naturally, and, and uh, mega dosing, right. which I don't recommend unless you're uh, seeing a doctor, but uh, I've been I, able to do yeah. it. I know that Jesus can heal just like that. Amen. But I also believe that, that Jesus also, you know, have put the stuff out there ready for if you don't trust in me that I can heal you, well, Here's the natural stuff, you know, to, to be able to use to help you as well. Right. I, I don't know why that mechanism is, mechanism is like that. I remember uh, not too long ago um, a pr uh, deal, uh, it was a, a tooth issue, mm -hmm. extremely painful tooth issue. Uh, and um, my wife had just bought me a carbon dioxide extract frankincense. Uh, and I use frankincense because it's mentioned in the Bible. Uh, and I also found out from some other people that it was uh, extremely powerful. So here I am, horrible pain. I'm ready to go to the ER to, to mm -hmm. for them to give me whatever they have to give right. me. But I, I started gargling with this frankincense. 
and within 15 minutes, whammo, no pain. And maybe yeah. maybe he just chose right. chooses some people right. to. Uh, I, I use different oils, but you know what I use frankincense for? Is I take my skincare and I put like a dot or two drops in, in my skincare, and it's really, you know, helps your face, your skin. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I, I use I it. I heard it from other people yeah. that use it. I'm like, well, let me try it. Mm -hmm. It's amazing. It's an expensive product, but yeah. You can uh, use it um, modestly. Because, like that, $75. Ooh, you got to tell me where you're getting your frankincense <laughs> from. <laughs> That's a lot of money. Oh, really? <laughs> a, a similar size bottle of the CO2 extract um, is about 35 40 by Oh, me. wow. You'll have to tell me where you get that then because I hesitate to reorder. Yeah. Um, now, okay, so in the mist, God is, I, I think at one point you had told me that God actually said something to you, you know, to when you were going through. Oh, uh, right, uh, the, and uh, I don't want to sound crazy, like you know, I'm hearing voices, but there, it, it does say in the Bible uh, that uh, you will hear a, hear a still small voice. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, and at one time, uh, at my worst, uh, I cried out to him. I was very sick uh, in 2001, and at my worst, I said, uh, "You got to help me, God, because I have a daughter to raise, uh, and uh, I, I feel like I can't do another thing." Mm -hmm. uh, I felt ill, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, I, uh, there was a, a, a lovely pause, and that still small voice, tiny mm -hmm. inside right. here, uh, mentioned something about research. Mm -hmm. It's like okay, and and so and it turned out to be fantastic, uh, and he started uh, dropping, you know, little coins in my basket, if you will. Mm -hmm. uh, I had a friend approach me about. Um, great segue into this story a friend approached me uh, telling me that there was an herbal shop in a nearby town up where by I live uh, he wanted me to check it out because he knew I was doing a mm -hmm. bunch of research and he was not right. feeling so great either we went to this herbal shop and it, it turned out that they had sustainably wild harvested uh, herbs in capsule form from the South American rainforest in Peru mm -hmm. um, can I say the name of the company yeah it's called the Amazon Herb Company. If you guys want to check it out, mm -hmm. um, and that that was that's uh, one of the cornerstones mm -hmm. in in my recovery. Right. Not that you're not a rep though for it, right? No. Yeah. So anything no. anything that we're talking about ingredients wise, you're not here because you're a salesperson for no, those no, products. No, no, no. But you. Just, I used to be, but not any longer. I haven't sold them in uh, five years, ten years, something like that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, because now I, I do this sort of uh, lecturing. Right, right. And you're not allowed to lecture and, and sell at the same time. Gotcha. Now, you also have a list, like you have a website that called Breakfast on the Beach. Tell me about that. Breakfast on the Beach uh, occurred because I wanted to share this information with whomever would, would listen. I've been talking about it for the last uh, 17 years now, mm -hmm. um, uh, almost uh, informally. I have done some lectures in libraries and doctor's offices and churches. Um, and, then, and I wanted to reach more people, uh, and I also wanted to make a bit of a, a career change. Mm -hmm. You know, right. I, I think m my days in physical therapy are kind of winding down, mm -hmm. and I'd love to be able to get involved in uh, watching and helping people get healthy. Yeah, why don't you, you could probably be nutritional certified, right? Have you thought about According that? According to New York State law, I can uh, hang out a shingle saying nutrition coach, okay. a nutritional consultant as well. Oh, you can do yeah, nutri yeah, yeah. nutritional consulting? I have to be careful about uh, what I say. This disclaimers of uh, saying I'm not a doctor. This is not uh, intended right. to cure, or treat, or mitigate right. any situations. Right. Um, so, so the actual website for Breakfast on the Beach is what? Uh, what I do on the website, it's, uh, and forgive me because it's still a little rough. I'm, I'm still working on it. You can uh, go on the website. So let's say, for instance, so, so the website, they can be able to... Um, be able to contact you in reference to getting more information about the list and how they may be able to get it. Yes, yes, okay. yes, 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 yes. Right. Okay. Yes, and then they, they'll be able to uh, have that correspondence with you. Yes. About yes, it. Yes. Great. Yes. And uh, give them some ideas with that. Also, uh, I do one-on-one -on -one sessions and uh, a newsletter. Okay. That's part of the site. Now, you also were given a farm? <laughs> yes. Yeah, so it's almost that. embarrassing. Okay. Uh, on a whim, um, 
I, I wanted to do some, some large-scale farming. Yeah. Right. Uh, although I, I we're running out of time, so if you could be a little bit fast with that. Okay. Uh, it turns out uh, I posted uh, a, f a farmer profile on this site that finds people's farms, and uh, a gentleman contacted me. Uh, I have submitted a proposal. He chose me um, uh, because of the grace of God, and he uh, let me have about four and a half acres in Bloomingburg, New York. Uh, it's called Graceland Farm, New mm -hmm. York. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, if they want to learn more about it, where would they go to? Uh, you can uh, send me an, uh, an email to the email address okay. I mentioned. Yeah, and there's you could tell the, the other. Right, but you'll be able to um, I'll give them more give them information. More, right, if, they, if right. they send an email. So your ultimate goal is to be able to uh, grow natural products. Right, beyond organic, biodynamic. Uh, mm -hmm. There's not a lot of that going on in this area. Right, right, right. Well, may God bless it. And I'm glad to, that you're doing well and things like that and that you want to share. How Amen. you were able to be helped through the nutrition that God already provided. Uh, thank yes. you. Yes, yes, yes. So I want to thank you so much for joining us today. And um, if you're interested in a speaker for any of the events that you have, uh, God has blessed me with amazing testimony to share. And I would share from my book as well as sing some songs in between. And also, don't forget, is that, um, you know, I'm blessed to be able to release uh, my new children's CD album. You can learn more about it on my website and, and actually hear the melody, you know, the, the, the songs. Um, and if you could be able to uh, like my Inspire Blessings Facebook page so you can be able to uh, learn more about the different shows and, and things, uh, along with um, subscribing to my YouTube channel so you can be able to watch any shows that you might have missed. So thank you for joining us today and keep Inspire Blessings within arm's reach to help give you comfort when others are at a loss for words. Thank you and God bless. For more information on Inspire Blessings book, CD albums, photograph prints, Jean Marie Prince greeting cards, and speaking engagements, jeanmarieprince.com, as well as Facebook page, Inspire Blessings for updates, and CD Baby to listen to the songs. Thank you and God bless. To accept and receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Please say this prayer. I know that I am a sinner who needs forgiveness. Jesus, please forgive me for all my sins and purify me. I know that you died and rose again to pay for my sins. I need you to be my Lord and Savior for the rest of my life. Thank you in the name of Jesus. Amen. With man, this is impossible. But with God, all things are possible. My life is in your hands, my life is in your hands. You took control when I was young, when I was not able. I had no mother to love me or a father to give me a hug. I was never Oh!